Oh, oh, right. oh hold on. Wait. Oh, almost. Wait. Almost. Wait. I'm over here. Hold almost. on. Wait. Yeah. Almost. Ah. Ah. Welcome, everybody, to Drinking Buddies. This is our 10th episode. Ta da! Number 10. I know that's not a whole lot, but, you know, to us, it's a lot. We've been doing it for 10 episodes now. Um, we did skip last week. We apologize for that. Um, but it kind of is what it is. Anyway, as always, my name is BHD, and this gentleman to my right is... Geek Master P. That is correct, Amundo. Today I'm drinking a staple, Corona. Um, so is GMP. He's drinking the Corona Familiar, which is basically Corona in a, a tall boy, for lack of a better way of putting it. There's not really anything different about it. So, Well, um, you know, when in doubt, go with what you know. No, I didn't say anything about that. Go, no, but, sorry, go with what you like. Well, whatever. The point is... We're both drinking Corona today, so no no real um, uh, beer review today, if you will. Um, bear with me on my mush mouth. I, we had band practice today, which is normally on Fridays, and so I've been day drinking, and I'm, I'm already well ahead of the game. This is actually number six for me since uh, noon, which isn't bad. It's like one an hour, but still, I haven't... haven't and ate. how many shots? No, uh, we killed a bottle of rum, but there's only about a quarter of a bottle left. So, I, I, yeah, we, I, I've been drinking already today. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to get right into it. And um, <clears throat> what we're going to talk about today is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, the next episode we're going to do will be a live stream because next Sunday is WrestleMania Sunday. Uh, and then after that, we're going to do a review of Mass Effect Andromeda. We both have it. We're both playing the crap out of it, but we're not quite to where we want to do a full review yet. Uh, plus I'd like to get some game, game clips. Um, I wish I had some game clips for Wildlands. Um, uh, what I may try to do is, is get some of those, uh, just, um, I don't know. I, I may or may not be able to edit some game clips into the show. We'll see. Um, I, this show needs to come out today. We're filming like the day of, which normally I don't do because now I've got to edit and all that stuff when we're done recording the show, but whatever. So no game clips. I'm sorry. Um, what I'll try to do is splice them into the next episode and be like, hey, by the way, here's this. Uh, but let's get right into it. So... I've been a Ghost Recon fan for a long, long time since the first game. I've always loved that that series of games. Um, Rainbow Six is cool. Not so much my thing. Ghost Recon's kind of been where it's at for me. And there hadn't been a Ghost Recon game in a while. They did The Division, which was kind of supposed to be like a, a palate cleanser, I suppose, or something to kind of hold us over. And it was a decent game, but there was a lot it was missing. And with Ghost Recon Wildlands, it's kind of like you take The Division, you take all the old ghost ghost recon games and you take GTA and kind of mash those together. And that's kind of what you got overall. I'd say we're happy with it. Um, yeah, it, for the most part, it, it could be better, but it certainly could be worse. Um, Ubisoft's kind of done their whole, here's our open world sandbox thing. And they do that kind of with every game. And it, it, it is what it is. It's pretty much what it is, but Unlike the division, you can drive vehicles and you can fly planes and helicopters and all kinds of neat stuff and parachute. There's a lot more GTA massive, Five, massive map, you know. Yeah, there, there's a lot more GTA Five uh, kind of built into it. But still, with your Ghost Recon, you know, sync shots and your little recon drone and binoculars and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, GMP, what what are your what are some of your complaints about it? First of all, let's let's start there. Uh. I don't know. It's that that's kind of, that's kind of a that's kind of a challenge because I mean there's a couple of beefs I have with it, but like like the way they change goes like because I still haven't quite figured out how to do the sync shots like you could in uh, Future Soldier because honestly it was a lot easier to do it in Future Soldier. It's the same thing. You're just not reading the context on the menu very well, I guess, because like it's right there in front of your face. It's not hard to do. It's it tells you how to do it. Okay. Like, that's just something I guess you need to look at, but... I mean, other really than that, I really have no other beefs with it. Well, you had some stuff. We were playing the other night, because we're, we're playing it together as much as we can, uh, but since Mass Effect Andromeda dropped, we've kind of stopped playing Wildlands and gone to Mass Effect, because quite frankly, that that is the first game that really, really, really grabbed a hold of me, like by the yeah. hair, balls, throat, nose, you name it. it. It grabbed me in every place possible, and I love it, and so... 
when Mass Effect is is on, everything else takes a back seat. But yep. we were playing Wildlands for what a couple, three weeks or so. Like uh, since it since it dropped, we've been playing it. it so about, it's been two uh, two weeks or yeah. so. Um, and again, I just haven't been able to get any clips. I've been super busy. Uh, my my personal life has been kind of weird and and busy lately, so I just haven't haven't had time. <laughs> Um, so you, you had, there was one night though, about a week or so ago, we were playing and you're like, man, I, I hate that about this game. Blah, blah, blah. What, what was it? Do you remember? Uh, no, that was, yeah, I remember, man. That was, that was a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah. Okay. Well, like, okay. So basically kind of where we're at with it is like my, some of my complaints are, I, I do wish that. If you were playing with your friends online, if you only had two or three friends, like the extra computer generated players that are on your squad when you're playing by yourself were still there to make that's up the, what it was. Yeah. To to make up the rest of your squad, that would be really cool. Cause if you're playing multiplayer with some friends, like say you've only got one friend, like he and I, it's just he and I. Instead of having a four full four player squad like you do if you're playing solo, it's just the two of you. Yeah, like, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, and it, it makes things extremely more difficult. And it's already difficult. It's a challenging game as it is. But automatically losing those other two squad mates really puts a damper on things. I, I do wish that they'd have been like, okay, if you've got an empty slot, we'll fill it with a, a, a CPU player. Uh, but they didn't. Um, that's really my only complaint. Like, other than that, like I said, you can parachute, fly planes, helicopters, drive cars. Um, they do punish the crap out of you if you kill civilians. Unlike GTA, where you can just go mowing down anyone you want and get chased by and cops. Doesn't work that good. way. You kill three civilians in this game and you game over. Like you have to start like it, it like you died basically. Yeah, it'll it'll literally tell you. It'll literally it'll automatically give you a KIA. Yeah. Um, so you can't do that, which, okay, that makes sense. There's not a whole lot of civilians running around to have to worry about, like, it's all, instead of driving city streets and stuff like that, you're driving mountain roads and treacherous passes and crap like that. And it's all like, you're really better, better served to just take a, a helicopter or a plane and just <laughs> toodle everywhere. And then when you need to do some parachute out, let that bitch crash. Like, well, true, but I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's a cool thing with, with the planes and whatnot, but they move too slowly. No, they really don't. Like, you just haven't figured out how to fly right. It took me a little bit to figure it out. But once you get the hang of flying, like, you can just brrr, cruise across the map like it's nothing. That's why when we've been playing, I've been doing the driving or the flying because I've gotten all that figured out. Like, I spend mo more of my time in the air than I do anything else. And you should really take to it, too, because what you, what you can do from that vantage point if you have a sniper rifle is you can be sitting there riding in the helicopter and just pull up your scope and just yeah, be and like, do do do, blam, gotcha. And it's it's really really cool. Like, we need to get back into that game because it's it really and truly is fun. But like I said, Mass Effect takes yep. takes super precedence. Uh, over everything else, it does. just yeah, kind of over everything else. I can't. <coughs> it, Mass Effect just grabbed me, and this is going to be a really crappy and kind of a short review on, on this game because I don't have much else to go well, on. Well, yeah, neither one of us are at this point. Um, and like I said, what I'll try to do is revisit this one after a little bit because, like I said, we, it dropped. We got it. We played it for uh, two, two and a half weeks until Mass Effect Andromeda dropped, and then we've kind of put it on the back burner. So what, what we'll do, this is really, guys, kind of just a palate cleanser. Next Sunday is WrestleMania Sunday. It'll be WrestleMania 33. We are going to be doing a live stream uh, before WrestleMania starts, um, kind of during the pre-show. Um, so around 5 um, Central Time, we'll, we'll be doing a live stream. We'll go for an hour, maybe two. We're going to have a special guest in. Um, I know I said that before, but this time he's actually going to be here, and I'm positive of it because it's WrestleMania Sunday. Um, so we'll go for an hour or two right, right up until just before WrestleMania starts. Um so we will revisit um, Wildlands uh, here in the next week or so because next week is going to definitely be Mass Effect uh, review, Mass Effect Andromeda review, um, and we'll 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 revisit this probably. What we'll probably do is in a couple of weeks when we get to that point, we'll do our drinking buddies drinking contest, and to start that episode off, we'll kind of revisit it and I'll cut in some game game clips. Um, and give it a, a more fair review. But all in all, uh, just just to, to end this review uh, correctly, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 10 being best, 1 being worst, um, I would give it a 7. 
overall, <laughs> Wildlands, what do you think? Uh, I give it about a five or a six. Really? Yeah, okay. It's more my genre than yours, I suppose. So that's fair, but um, it, it really is a good game. Um, so average, uh, pick one, five or six. Uh, six. All right, so we're looking at 14. So on uh, average, Drinking Buddies rating would be 7 out of 10 then. So um, all in all, you got to really check it out. Um, and like I said, we will definitely revisit it and kind of point out some things to you guys with some game clips um, when we come back to it. But uh, next week, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, so next week, we will... Uh, be doing a live stream, like I said, WrestleMania Sunday, and uh, it should be fun and exciting. Guys, we're sorry for the short episode this week, but it kind of is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm, I apologize. I've been really busy. Um, if you watch my vlogs, BHD vlogs, uh, I'll be putting that up tonight as well, and it's just been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, but we thank you all for joining us. Drinking Buddies, if you would like a t-shirt of your own, please email us at drinkinbuddiesshow at gmail.com. That's D-R-I-N-K-I-N, buddies, show, B-U-D-D-I-E-S, S-H-O-W at gmail.com. And guys, uh, again, we're going to cut it short this week, but we thank you very much for joining us. And as always, smash that like button like it owes you money. Like, share, subscribe, whore us out. We don't mind. We uh, we kind of like it. So, guys, this has been episode ten, and we look forward to seeing you next week, April second, Sunday, April second, at five p.m. Central Standard Time for WrestleMania thirty three Sunday. We are the Drinking Buddies, and we are out. Oh, oh, right. oh hold on, wait, oh, almost, wait, almost, wait. I'm over here. Hold almost. on, wait, yeah, almost. Ah. Ah.